Hello, welcome back to We Are City channel for another episode of the Manchester City FIFA 22 career mode. We're into season two and we're into episode three. We currently sit top of the Premier League table. We set off the season brilliantly. You see there, eight goals scored, one conceded, seven goal difference, better than everyone else. There's a reason why we're up there. Alexander Isak has is kicked off the season wonderfully. He's got three goals in two games. Jack Grealish has got two goals in two, and then Grealish also has three assists in two. So Grealish is really, really performing for us the start of this season, and he looks fantastic. And for the start of today's episode, we go away from home to face Chelsea. Down in 19th, not a good start, but definitely title challenges this season in my eyes. This is side we're going to go with against Chelsea today. Edison starts in goal, it's Walker Diaz, Laporte and Zinchenko in the back four. Rodri, Ilkay, Gundogan and Jack Grealish in the midfield three. It's Jesus on the left, Raheem Stone on the right and Alexander Isak through the middle. On the bench we've got Ferran Torres, Riyad Mahrez, Kevin De Bruyne, Calvin Phillips, Joao Cancelo, Stones and Stefan. No place for Tierney or Max Hans, Lacroix for his debut. And it's Phil Foden, the key player really, that misses out. He's always going to be one that misses out, whether it's Foden, Mahrez, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Grealish, Jesus. Someone's always going to miss out, um, you know, midfield attacking areas. Today it's Phil Foden. Uh, Jesus came on and made a massive impact against Newcastle, hence why he's starting today. Ilkay Gundogan's looked actually quite good as well uh, at the start of the season, so I've put him in there. Also, he's not so happy at the moment. Maybe that's down to his contract situation. Him and Mahrez were only with one year left. But um, I'm really, really happy with the squad. Alexander Isak and Grealish, the two standouts so far for us this season. So here at the Etihad Stadium in the rain for Manchester City versus Chelsea, we have set off the season looking like Premier League winners, haven't we? Or, you know, definitely title contenders. Uh, Chelsea, not so much. They are down in 19, so I think two defeats, although they have improved their side in the transfer window. Mainly that man there, Milan Skriniar, signed from Inter Milan into that back three. I mean, if it's not good enough already, Chelsea's defence, they've added to it even more. And Lukaku up there, I mean, Ziyech, Pulisic, Havertz, Kante, a very, very good side from Chelsea. And this is the Chelsea side today. So, big man Edouard Mendy in goal. It's Reese James, Antonio Rudiger, Milan Skriniar, Azpilicueta and Ben Chilwell in the back five. Kante and Havertz in the midfield two. And then Ziyech, Lukaku and Christian Pulisic in the front three. Owen Vindel, the new sign as well on the bench. Timo Werner, Marcus Alonso. Matteo Kovacic, Jorginho and Borja, who returns from his loan at Southampton, clearly impressed last season in the Premier League for Southampton. So Manchester City versus Chelsea, big game, big test for us, our first big test of the season you'd say, and it's live from the Etihad Stadium. It's going to be his position to battle with Phil Foden this season, is Isak, Grealish, to Zinchenko, Zinchenko across the box to Isak, intercepted by Rudiger, back to Edouard Mendy with an odd clearance. Ziyech takes it down brilliantly. Pulisic. Diaz flies in. Chilwell. He's died in here. Kai Havertz with space. Oh, what a terrible goal to concede. What a terrible goal to concede. I feel like Edison should do better. I'm not watching that Havertz nonsense there. He dived in with Diaz. I mean, Edison. If I did a shot like that against the opposition... He wouldn't go in. Weak hands from Edison, weak wrists. And we find ourselves 1-0 down here at home after such a good start to the season in the previous episode. And past Sinchenko. Ziyech, put in by Amerit Laporte. It's a corner to Chelsea, 15 minutes gone. And they lead by one goal to nil still. Crossing by Hakim Ziyech. Ooh, attacks well. Skriniar with another header. Oh, my Lord. Edison, you might get benched after this one. I might seriously think about benching Edison after this one because that is a mistake against Burnley and a double mistake here today. He should not be being beaten by that one. 2-0 down at the Etihad to Chelsea after 16 minutes. Well, the great performances that kicked off the season. They've dipped off straight away. Skriniar with a header that beats Edison when it really, really shouldn't. Across to Zinchenko. Jesus. Isak. Back to Jesus. Back into Alexander Isak. And Isak at the near post. And what a finish from Alexander Isak. Edouard Mendy should not be beaten there. 2-1. He's so, so good. He is so, so good. I think signing him is the best signing we've made in a long while at this moment in time. Picks it up Isak. But he hits it with power past Mendy. How is Mendy not saving that? I don't know. 
That's four in three for him now. Alexander Isak, 2 1. We're back in this game. Jesus. Tinchenko. Cross in. Isak in there. I feel like he could have been offside. Lukaku against Grealish. Holden Jack. Gundawan. Walker. We missed that. Overlapping runner Cancelo. Sterling. Finds Walker. Lifts one to the far post. It's just over Sterling. And behind. But that wasn't a bad ball by Walker. A little bit less than it. Could have actually dipped it at that far corner. Edward Mendy did not move at all. Over top here. The port misses out. Chelsea got bodies in the box. He Romelu Lukaku. Edison's gone down again. And we're 3-1 down here. This is a disaster class for Edison. Absolute disaster class. 3-1 Chelsea. Get ourselves back into a position where we think we can get something from this game. I'd take a draw against Chelsea at this stage in the season. So that sums Laporte's performance up. Pulisic. Well done, Diaz. Foul, but we'll take that. Just before our time. If it goes to 4-1, that is game over. Hakim Ziyech. Oh, it's off the post. And a handball, I think, against N'Golo Kante. Terrible performance. Gundogan, and that is half-time. Manchester City nil. Well, Manchester City won. We did get one through Alexander Isak. But it's Chelsea three. <sighs> Conceded three goals at home. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. <laughs> Haven't defended to the level that we did in those first two fixtures. Oh, mistake by Chelsea. Gundogan. Not on now. It's De Bruyne. Grealish, Jesus, up against Reese James, he's very quick. Into Grealish. Grealish. Isak! Oh, I just get a shot off. Puts in a bit of an issue defensively. Offensively, not so much. Still in with the ball in here. Isak on the chest. Isak down to De Bruyne with a hit and a good save from Edouard Mendy. Good play from Isak, though, again. He's in there for a header here. Roger with a chance. Oh, and it's just bubbled wide. We need that second goal. To chase the equaliser then. Havertz balling behind here. Christian Pulisic. Ball to the far post. Hakim Ziyech is all alone here. Good save by Edison. Right into the path of Lukaku. And then he makes a really good save. Fair play. But the first save there. Right into the path of Lukaku. Skriniar with a header. Beats Laporte in the air. Into De Bruyne. White to Sterling. Back into De Bruyne. Grealish. Rodri. <sighs> simple, simple pass by Rodri. And he can't execute it. And here come Chelsea again. Lukaku, Ziyech. Rhys James. Tuchel. Tactically out does Pep Guardiola again. Here's Lukaku. Oh, Edison. You're not playing the next game. 4-1 down here. Edison's not getting in the team next game. That is just shocking goalkeeping again. Near post every time. Near post every time. There's no way back here. Successful start to the season. Crushed by Chelsea at home. Sterling. Could make it 4-2. No, we can't. Poor pass by Sterling. Oh, Isak. Great work from him. Great work from Isak. And here is Alexander Isak. And Isak. Oh, he gets himself another goal. 4-2. It's not going to be enough. A double for Isak. We've solved the striker problem, haven't we? He's class. And he's the only class player in this side today. Look at us celebrating at 4-2 down. Great goal. Great finish from Isak. Number five in three games for him. He's proving to be a masterstroke in the transfer market. But Rodri, Laporte, Zinchenko, Edison. They're the players to single out for shocking performances today. Really, really shocking performances. Well, Bruno Correa has joined Aston Villa on a one-year loan alongside Romeo Lavi. That'd be interesting him. And Thomas Galvez, an offer from Frankfurt. Well, we're not interested in selling the fullback. Only 17 years of age. Only interest is for him to go out on loan. Well, Southampton are interested in taking Edozi on a two-year loan. I'm quite happy with that deal. So Sam Edozi will go to Southampton and that would be a good move for him. Could come back in two seasons' time. Maybe 76 rated three a season. That would be good progress for a 19-year-old. Well, it is transfer deadline day and it's worth having a look at the other sides around the world to see what sort of moves people have been making. So first in the Premier League, we'll have a look at Arsenal. who have only brought in Nathan Ake from us, but have sold Tini, Gabriel, Martinelli, Saliba and Nicolas Pepe. Interesting. 
Um, Villa won't really be up there with us, I don't think. Burnley have spent a bit of money. Look at that. Um, beat them 6-1, however. Mason Mount's gone for Chelsea. They brought in Milan Skriniar. Crystal Palace brought in Akanji Denier. Good transfer enough for them. Everton have brought in Fede Valverde and Harvey Barnes, I believe that is. Leeds making some signs. Leicester City, Inacho, Madison, Tielemans and Barnes gone. But in comes Kessier, De Vries, Nabry and Pepe. Interesting. Liverpool sold Matic, brought in Pedri for £118 million. Of course, you know our transfer movement. Manchester United haven't signed one player, but they have lost Martial, Wan-Bissaka and Dallo. There's the Newcastle takeover, bringing in Chao Enrique, Balotti and Julian Weigel. That's the first few signs of the Newcastle takeover. Anyone else to interest? Spurs, Matic, Madison, Everton coming in. Mora Skip and Tanganga leaving their side. West Ham made some signs as well. Let's have a look at the biggest ones around the world. So Pedri is signing of the summer at the moment. 118 million to Liverpool. Fede Valverde to Everton for 102. Mikel Marino to Barcelona for 93. Koundé to Bayern Munich for 93 also. Of course, we signed Alexander Isak in there. Mount to Real Madrid for 76 million. Tillemans to Lazio for 76 also. Kessier to Leicester cost 75. Juan Bissaka to Borussia Dortmund, 24 million. Madison cost 71 to... Spurs, lots of big money being spent here. Napoli, 68 million on Long Lake. Um, Juventus, 65 million on Renan Lodi. Kimpembe to Sevilla. Nabri to Leicester, of course. Maduke has gone to Leverkusen for 62 million. Nicolas Sula goes to Barcelona to replace Clement Long Lake. Gint has gone to Barca as well. We've got Neuhaus going to Sevilla. Ruben Neves going to Barcelona. Pedro Porro, of course, to Real Madrid. Koke to AC Milan, who's signing Kieran Tierney. Zaniolo has gone to Real Sociedad. Had interesting signings around the world, really. Um, anyone else? Of course, Martial moving there. Belotti to Newcastle. Lacroix, not seen anything on Lacroix yet, but we will do. Carlos Neva, we were interested in. He's gone to Bayer Leverkusen actually for 35 million. So Kieran Tierney cost us just as much, younger and probably a better fullback. And uh, Jimenez there going to Inter Milan for 31 million. So Sam Adozi has joined Southampton a two year long. Yavante, uh, Levante, sorry, want to take this man, Josh Wilson Esbrand, on a loan with an option to buy. I'm happy to take him just on a one-year loan to Levante. Again, play La Liga football. Quite a few players we still want to move on, but I don't think that'll be possible. Leicester City have signed Hoybierg for 74 million. Big, big signing. Big, big money for Emil Hoybierg. Levante and Wilson Esbrand agree a deal there, so it looks like he will be going out on loan. I'm trying to think if there's anyone that we want to loan out. There. I mean, Liam Delap's looking like he's not going to get a loan this season, which is a shame. They might get another six months from January. Bernardo Silva, of course, we're looking to sell. And we haven't managed to sell him yet. Wolves come in. Liverpool, you can see there, came with 100 million. Wolves have come in for Bernardo Silva with 100 million. Of course, I'm not going to sell Bernardo to a rival. If he doesn't leave, we will keep him. But um, surely at deadline date, we do find a move for Bernardo Silva. But um, actually, I don't know whether to negotiate this for Wolves because he does want to leave. But I won't let him go to Wolves. We'll end up keeping Bernardo at this rate. Nicotura, Roma want to take him for 8.6 million. Brilliant deal for him. Good move for him to Italy. We'll accept that one. Busy deadline day, it seems it's going to be. So, Wilson Esbrand has joined Levante for a season, and Nicotura has left the club to join AS Roma. Well, French side's Nantes have come in for Jaden Braff. We'll accept that. He could move here. He's rejected three moves already to Royal Antwerp and Feyenoord. Maybe the French league is where Braff wants to go. Well, deadline day is about to come to an end. You see their latest deal of Dozy to Southampton. Still Pedri, Valverde and Mikel Marino at the top signings. And that is the end of the January transfer window 2022. Jaden Brass moved to Nantes, did break down as expected. Look at that, 1.1 billion spent across all leagues on transfer deadline day. Incredible. Incredible that was spent just on deadline day, was it? Or was it across the whole time? I think it was across the whole time, but 1.1 billion. Just an un unbelievable amount of cash, isn't it? Flow around all the leagues. So after a disappointing result to Chelsea, it is our next game of the Premier League season now where we go away to West Brom and looking to improve on that. West Brom are actually in sixth position, just one point behind us in the league. Clearly a good start to them being back in the Premier League. Well, and interestingly enough, I've just seen there as I flick through to the team sheets there. Where has it gone? Player of the month. Wherever it is. Is this the one? Player of the month is Alexander Isak for August, so clearly made a massive impact in the Premier League this season. So this is side for West Brom today. The players that let us down drop out of the side, and there's also going to be a Premier League debut 
from Maxence Lacroix. He comes in for his debut today. So Stefan starts in goal, like I said, Edison will be dropped after that poor performance. It's Cancelo, Captain Diaz, Lacroix and Tierney in the back four. Calvin Phillips holds the midfield after Rodri disappointed with Kevin De Bruyne and Jack Grealish in the midfield. Three, four on the left-hand side, Mahrez on the right-hand side and Alexander Isak, of course, through the middle on the bench. We've got Ferran Torres, Raheem Sterling. Bernardo Silva, who hasn't left the club, so if he's not left, he's staying. He's playing Bernardo Silva on the bench with Rodri, Walker, Stones and Edison. Today's Inchenko, Laporte, Gundogan and Gabriel Jesus miss out on the starting 11 and match day squad. So Manchester City versus West Brom today, live from the Hawthorns. Newly promoted side, we've beaten Burnley 6-1, we beat Southampton by two goals to nil, and we went into that game against Chelsea and got battered 4-2. Poor performances, don't want a performance like that again today. I mean, if you can get draws against teams like Chelsea and then beat the other teams, that's not too bad. You know, draw against Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United. They are games that I expect to win and I expected a better performance against Chelsea. The only standout performer in that game was Alexander Isak. And the players that didn't perform well are out of the squad today, are out of the team anyway. So this is the West Brom side. Sam Johnstone starts in goal. It's Daniel Furlong, Keane Bryan, ex-Manchester City player. Kyle Bartley, Darrow Shane Townsend in the back five. Lewis Cook and Romain Sawyers in the midfield two. And then it's Dean Garner, Matt Phillips and Carlin Grant in the front three. On the bench they've got um, Ben Barrett and Diaz actually signed from Blackburn. A couple of interesting players I suppose in there. So Manchester City versus West Brom. And it's live from the Hawthorns and Foden back on that left hand side today. Hopefully they can better performance in Maxence Lacroix who shows off the number four shirt last war by Vincent Company. Sent Diaz the wrong way for a moment there. Great foot in from Ruben Diaz and here's Grealish. Look at the run from Alexander Isak and Isak doesn't need an invitation once or twice he already needs one chance and Alexander Isak just gets another goal and what a start to his Manchester City career Alexander Isak. Just cannot stop scoring. Ferran Torres can't even get in the team. I think Ferran's future is probably on the wings at the moment. Ferran has no future at striker because Alexander Isak is smashing in goal after goal after goal. Another goal for the Swede. Really good finish. That is his sixth of the season in four matches. Every game he's played, he's scored in. Back into the middle he goes. Lewis Cook. Lovely ball out wide here. Furlong and a good tackle by Lacroix across to intercept that one. I think, um, you know, teams that counter us. Lacroix will cut that out. Good chance from the corner for Lewis Cook, but he couldn't get a clean header on it. Tierney, good touch. Tierney. Isak. Oh, good good goalkeeper from Johnstone. I think it's a a goal kick. Confirmation of that Hoiberg transfer there for 74 million to Leicester. So unlucky there, Isak. Maybe should have gone for the dink over Johnstone. Oh, poor by Phil. We need Tierney on the overlap there. Oh, brilliant from Tierney. Absolutely fantastic from the Scotsman. De Bruyne. Cancelo. Into Mares. Cancelo. Cross into the far post. He's Grealish attacking it. West Brom get it away. De Bruyne. In behind to Grealish. Great pass. Grealish. Great footwork. Grealish still going here. Grealish! Oh, what a goal from Jack Grealish. 2-0 Manchester City. It's brilliant. He is taking his game to another level this season. I know he was poor against Chelsea, but I really feel like he's taking his game to another level here. Played in by De Bruyne. Cuts inside. Two or three bodies. He takes it past through the legs of Kyle Bartley. Into the back of there of Sam Johnstone. Wonderful goal from Jack Grealish. 2-0 we lead West Brom. Really shoes a Birmingham boy himself. Love to score against West Brom. Lewis Cook. Ian Garner. Back to Cook. Stood off him here. Around Phillips. Still a chance. Into the box here. A little back heel. West Brom keep going. And into the hands of Zach Steffen. And that is hard time. 2 0 lead. A clean sheet is crucial to get back to our defensive solidity. We've done really well here with this back line. 2 0 lead at half time. Kevin De Bruyne has been fantastic. Isak. Why to Tierney. Isak again. Back through to Foden. Foden across the box. Grealish with a tap in. It's an offside against Phil Foden. So unlucky. Really nice football. So, so unlucky. Oh, well done, Joao. Really well played. Mares lets it run. Into De Bruyne. Isak. Into Riyad Mares. Here's Mares, the Algerian. Mares. 
Good touch. Mares makes it 3-0 Manchester City. What a goal from Riyad Mahrez. We questioned selling Mahrez. Good job he didn't. He's a class player. And he gets involved here today. Little shirt pull on him. That doesn't stop him. Ben's right into that far corner. I think we're going to make some substitutions now. 3-0 up. Isak is going to get his rest for Ferran Torres. Really, she's off. Bernardo Silva makes his first appearance of the season. And then maybe Sterling or someone else later on. It's hello, great interception. Into Mares. Ferran Torres. Good hold up play from Ferran. Bernardo. Foden. Tierney. Tierney. What a cross. Ferran Torres tipped over the bar by John Stone. A great cross from Kieran Tierney. Into Lacroix. Brings it forward, the Frenchman. Only our second clean sheet of the season. And Lacroix involved. Ferran Torres. What a ball. Tierney. To Kyle. Walker with a header. Well, what a ball from Kieran Tierney. And Kyle Walker comes on at fullback for Cancelo. And gets a goal for himself. Wonderful header. Pass Sam Johnstone. Into the back of that net for Kyle Walker. What a ball from Tierney. We need to use Tierney's crossing as much as possible. Clearly, he's a top, top quality crosser. Puts in a wonderful ball to Kyle Walker. Who heads it home. 4-0. This is the performance we were looking for last season. I know we've had that little blip against Chelsea now. We, we need to perform better in the big games. I think we're going to go a lot more defensive in the big games. Maybe three at the back. Maybe two holding midfielders. I think Foden and Tierney. Foden playing with Tierney. Just gives Foden that more freedom. And that is full time. A 4-0 win. Brilliant performance from the team. Fantastic performance. A wonderful Grealish goal. An Isak goal. A Kyle Walker goal. That gives us that win. Wonderful performance again, a clean sheet, which is massively important. So our Champions League group has been revealed. It is Lyon, Lazio and Lokomotiv Moscow. A very, I think, easy group really, again, similar to last season. But last season the group was so easy, even though PSG were in there, that I think that's what causes the problems later on. We need to put in good performances now, early on in the Champions League, for the latter stages. We will play his first game against Lyon at home. So this is the side we're going to go with against Leon today. Stefan once again starts in goal. It's Walker, Stones, Laporte and Zinchenko in that back four. Rodri, Bernardo, Silva and Grealish in the midfield three. Jesus on the left. Raheem Sterling on the right. And it's Ferran Torres for the middle. I actually might swap Jesus and Sterling round. Let them play in the more, you know, size that they're more comfortable with anyway. I mean, Ferran could always play in the right wing this season. Jesus through the middle. But I think we'll keep it like that. Ferran did well striker last season. On the bench we've got Isak, De Bruyne, Gundogan Phillips, Cancelo Diaz and Zach Steffen. So Champions League action, first Champions League action of the season at the Etihad Stadium. We face French side Lyon. You've had, uh, I don't know, I think they won the Champions, they won the league didn't they, last season. They won the French league. We're fantastic, clearly. We've got a very ball playing defence out there today in the Porton Stones. Not the usual, um, you know, Ball player and pure defender, so Lacroix and Laporte could play together, or Diaz and Stones, or, or so on. But we've gone with full with them today because of the, the fitness of uh, Lacroix and Diaz. And uh, hopefully it works out in our favour. So there is John Stones, captain the club today. And here is the Leon side, Jordan Shakiri in there, Bruno Gimaraish. Interesting signing, James Tarkovsky though, to add to that mix of players. So this is the Leon side. Some players well known in there the bench I'm sure is strong as well with Marcelo Cadawere Cherky as well and Milik so Lopez starts in goal it's Aina Tarkovsky Boateng and Monoyf at the back Toko Akambe and Gimaraj in the midfield too and then Shakiri, Paqueta and Hussein Awa in behind Luis Muriel strong strong Leon side Manchester City versus Leon Champions League action a weaker side but still strong enough live from the Etihad Stadium Zinchenko Fernand Torres, Bernardo Silva, Jesus, Walker, oh well he got a goal in the last game, come on as a substitute, and then he got another one here, Bernardo with a swing in, Laporte with a header, good header, just above it a little bit too much, I'm there at Laporte, I know who did spend on loan at Fulham two seasons ago, Let's give it away to Sterling, Fernand Torres is a runner, back to Sterling, Still across the box here to Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Jesus saw a good save. On the rebound. Great finish from Jesus. Tries the acrobatics and they work out from the 18th minute. 
Brilliant goal from Gabriel Jesus. Missed the first shot. Good save by Lopez, actually, but Jesus there. Very nice finish. He's getting on the score sheet as well. They're all getting on the, on the goals at the moment, aren't they? First goal in the Champions League is scored by the Brazilian. Brilliant from Sterling Zinchenko. Creates a passing angle for him. And it's into Jack Grealish, who's made a forward run. And he's so forward thinking this season, Jack Grealish. And here is Grealish. And Grealish puts it across the box. And here's Bernardo Silva, who makes it 2-0 Manchester City. Brilliant goal from Bernardo. Another assist for Jack Grealish this season. Bernardo back in the team. Obviously, did say he wanted to leave the club. We were happy to let him leave. Obviously, not to a Premier League side. I don't think Bernardo either would have gone to a Premier League side. We had three £100 million offers this summer. And just after the transfer window. One was from Manchester United, of course. We rejected it. One was from Liverpool and one was from Wolves. Now, Wolves made the most sense, I think, for Bernardo. But even then, Wolves is not a sign that Bernardo Silva wanted to join. He's, he's hit that in the top corner, hasn't he, with power. Bernardo wants to play in Spain. He wants a, you know, a change of climate, understandably. Understandably, you know, he's got nothing against Manchester City and he puts everything on out there when he, he works in the field, which I'm fine with. Grealish. Gabriel Jesus has gone again here. Jerome Boateng chases Jesus. He's looking for his second of the game here. And Jesus, oh, great save from Lopez. Well, that's Jesus' biggest problem. Oh, they've given it away here. Ferran. Jesus for a second chance and a save again by Lopez. If Jesus could finish, he did about 40 goals for us. Reporting there. Ferran Torres on the rebound. And still we don't put it in. Leon hanging on. Brilliant tackle by Laporte. Grealish goes to one himself and then giving away to Bernardo Silva. Jesus, this would be killing the game off completely here. Grealish. Raheem Sterling with one to Benz was that far corner. Not enough on it. Lopez takes it down and throws it back out. Lively game. If you're a neutral. They're letting himself down here, Leon Grealish. Oh, wonderful. Ferran. Sterling. Hein is not quicker than Sterling. Sterling into Jesus on the turn. And Jesus makes it 3-0. And I think we'll be able to sim this game by half-time. Because we will be strolling to three points here against Leon. So, so easily. Jesus, a little pirouette, a little swivel on the ball. Puts it in the back of the net. Nice finish, actually. Nice animation. A second for Jesus. And a 3-0 lead for us. Away from Aina. That's Zinchenko. Bernardo Silva arrives. Boateng with a block on it. And into the hands of Anthony Lopez. Thrown away. That is half time. We will make a substitution at half time. Grealish is going to come off. Ilkay Gundogan's going to come on. I think we'll stick with that one. For them, substitutions will allow us to jump to result. Get Gundogan a bit of game time as well. Him and Bernardo. Very important to this side. And the game does finish 3 0. Isak comes on for Ferran Torres. But three goals in the first half give us three points and a clean sheet in the Champions League. So up next we face Sheffield United at home in the Premier League. Again, we will simulate before getting to the final game of the season. A chance for some of the, you know, fringe players to play in a cup game away from home to Blackpool. Well, it's a quick sim against Sheffield United at home. Defensively, not so good. 3-2 win. It's Jack Grealish in the 14th minute, followed up by Norwood on the half-time. Stones count for Laporte for whatever reason at half-time. Then Rodri made it 2-1. McBurney scored to make it 3-2 and then Phil Foden in the 78th minute give us the 3-2 win and the three points over Sheffield United at home. Just disappointed with the two goals conceded. So final game of the episode time now as we face Blackpool. And you see there, Jack Grealish, six assists in five games, four goals as well. He's definitely player of the Premier League so far. So this is a side for Blackpool today. Edison starts in goal. We've got Walker, Stones, Lacroix and Tierney in the back four. Calvin Phillips starts in the whole midfield role with Captain Ulkai Gundogan and Bernardo Silva either side of him. Jesus on the left, Riyad Mahrez on the right and Ferran Torres is through the middle. On the bench we've got Liam Delap, Cole Palmer, Kevin De Bruyne, Gutierrez, Hansen, Zinchenko and Trafford. So chance for some of the younger lads to come on. Probably Palmer and Delap are first choice to get into the field. Then it's between Hansen and Gutierrez. That is if things are going our way in this game. Well, away from home here in the Carabao Cup round three. We got knocked out very early on in the Carabao Cup, didn't we? Last season to Arsenal. I think at around the quarter-final stage or just before the quarter-final stage. Today we face Blackpool and in full Pep Guardiola fashion, we've gone with a very, very strong side. That's the way it should be. Uh, let the Blackpool fans enjoy 
some of the you know first team players Mares in there and players like that and we can bring on the kids when we four or five nil up and we will play the full game no matter how many goals we are up because I do want to give chance to the other players uh, Edison does start in goal ahead of um, Stefan just to you know get into Edison's head he is second choice at the moment but no doubt if he has like a, a ridiculous game today we'll throw him back in in the first team Daniel Grimshaw ex-Manchester City player on the bench for them other than that not really too many players you'd know Reese James ex-Manchester United um, other than that I don't really know anyone else in that, that side husband I've heard of of course and maybe Maxwell the goalkeeper is the captain as well for Blackpool so Man City versus Blackpool Ilkay Gundo on the captain helps us kick off and it is live from a local ground really in Blackpool seeing it Bernardo Ferran Tierney, Bernardo, Gundogan, Gundogan, what a ball, Walker, Mahrez his right foot, blocked away by Blackpool, corner ball within 10 minutes. Ferran rises, Lacroix in there, ooh, and he was putting pressure on them, long by Blackpool, Walker with a mistake, Stone's in there to sort it out, ooh, good header, and Phillips down on her way to Ferran Torres. Look at Jesus, he's running fair and has found Gabriel Jesus. And here is Jesus. And here is Jesus. And here is Jesus. Oh, good save by the keeper. He went to ground the goalkeeper. Ooh, where's John Stone's gone here? Get him back. Didn't fancy taking on the quad, did he, the, the player? And Stones eventually wins it back for his side. Bernardo. Jesus again. He's gone, the Brazilian. So quick. Jesus, this time he scores 1-0 Manchester City, 25 minutes, another goal for Jesus, he's getting quite a few goals this season, off this left hand side, using that finishing ability on his right foot, which not so good, you know, I think when you create chances for him he doesn't finish them, but one-on-ones he's actually quite decent at one-on-ones, and Jesus finishes this one-on-one, -on -one. I mean he bends that into the top corner, the keeper Maxwell's got absolutely no chance. And will Eli one goal to nil? That'll be that's good news for people like Cole Palmer, Liam Delap on the bench. You want to get in the side, you want to play football for us. That's allowed us to hit him on the counter. Luckily, Lacroix. I mean, that's why we signed him. Ferran. Good burst of pace into Bernardo Silva. Ferran. Walker. Ferran. Gundogan. Shocking pass from Ilkay Gundogan. He seems to be slowing down at a fast rate here. Well done, Calvin Phillips. Jesus. Bernardo. Bad pass to Jesus. He's battled for it. And Ferran Torres could pick it up here. And Blackpool, mistake at the back, cost them that. Lucky goal for us. 2 0 we lead. I feel a bit sorry for him, to be honest. They didn't deserve that. Jesus involved. And Ferran Torres smashes that one in. 2-0 Manchester City. Just before our time as well, Blackpool, who, who felt they could have hung on there. Probably deserved to hang on. So a double substitution at half-time. Ferran Torres is going to out to that left-hand side. Liam Delat through the middle and Cole Palmer on the right-hand side. And it's be between Gutierrez coming on in the midfield for Gundogan possibly, which looks like the more likely one. Or Hansen coming on. I know he's a central midfielder, but we have, you know, gone into the development plan and moved into a right-back. I think he'll be better at right-back. 71 rated at 16 as well. You're talking about a right back who's going to be the future after Kyle Walker, I'm sure. Maybe even Calvin Phillips comes off if he's on a yellow card and we don't want him getting banned for Premier League games. Big man Lacroix said, no, you shall not pass. Here's Ferran Torres, counter Manchester City. Ferran, the lap. Bernardo, Gundogan, Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer with a goal. I don't think I aim there. I'm going to be honest, I aim towards the left-hand side. Palmer somehow put it in. I think the amount of power he put in that shot, the goalkeeper's fluffed it a little bit and just pushed it up and away. And it's gone in the net. We'll see it from a closer angle. Assist for Ilkay Gundogan into Cole Palmer. It actually went right down the middle and the goalkeeper. Walker's crisps. His wrist there just palms it up and into the top corner. 3-0 we lead Blackpool now. Counter for Blackpool. Oh, wonderful from Lacroix. He could be starting for us in not too long in the future. Palmer. Bernardo. 
Head on. Tierney. Tierney with the ball in. We know that he can put a good cross in and Liam Delap loves to attack a cross. 5-0. Or is it 4-0? I think it's 4-0. Cross comes in here from Tierney again using his ability from the wide areas. And Delap, you just see him running, see him attacking it. It's a bullet of a header from Liam Delap. Throws all his weight at it. His first City goal. Gundogan's off for Gutierrez, the number 33. Fournier will ease a good chance for these young lads to get, get a, you know, a bit of game time. Gutierrez. What's your passing range like, Gutierrez? It seems to be quite good. Here's Ferran Torres. Into Liam de Lapp. Liam de Lapp to call Palmer unselfish. Palmer makes it five now. Very unselfish from Liam de Lapp. Another goal for Cole Palmer. De Lapp could have gone for goal himself there. Gutierrez makes an instant impact on the number 33. 17 years of age or so. Comes on, plays a wonderful ball into Ferran. Through to Liam de Lapp. And a finish from Cole Palmer. 5-0 in this Carabao Cup game. And we're flying. Absolutely flying. To think last season we could hardly score a goal, could we? It's taken us a very long time to sort of get used to the way we want to play this game. To get the tactics right in this team. But once we have done, we're laughing, aren't we? Lacroix, unlucky. Out of position here. Chance! Oh, Edison. He was beaten. Bernardo, what a touch. Unfortunately, not enough. Here's Blackpool. Open up his body here, Edison with a save. Good save by Edison. So I, I think he's because he's worried about his starting position. He's making things look a bit better than they are. Oh, and Blackpool have scored. Well, there you are, Edison. That's what you get for being stupid. Just catch the ball. 5-1, clean sheet gone. Max Ons Lacroix has conceded a goal now. Not of his own doing. This is Walker and Stones. Edison beaten, 5-1. Well, good for them. Good for them to get a goal. They've overhit it. Phillips away, Bernardo Silva. And that is full-time, a 5-1 win over Blackpool. Big win in the cup. This disappointing to concede there at the end. Edison, no clean sheet for him, which he will be annoyed with. But um, three points, well, not three points, is it? A win in the cup. Blackpool were okay, but, you know, he'd give a chance to the likes of the lap to play, but Maxon's Lacroix, we're going to keep going on about him because him and Alexander Isak, especially, two incredible signs. Uh, underrated Calvin Phillips and another one in, in Tierney. What a transfer window we have. We've revamped the squad with only four players. Those four players have made a massive impact, and that is an end to today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're getting up and up in subscribers all the time. It's great to see, and we'll see you guys next time.